Apple is in the process of developing OLED technology for the iPad, with the anticipated rollout of the new displays to the iPad Pro models in May 2024. Here are 10 major updates. Number 1. What is the expected size? Apple is anticipated to introduce the first OLED iPads in sizes similar to the current iPad Pro models. This will include the smaller 11.1-inch variant and the larger 13.1-inch model. However, there are reports that the future OLED iPad models could be as large as 15 inches. According to reports from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple is contemplating the introduction of iPads exceeding the current 12.9-inch size. Additionally, it is reported that the Apple supplier, BOE, is developing OLED displays as large as 15 inches, which could be utilized for larger-sized iPad models. However, Mark Gurman noted in 2021 that these larger sizes could be delayed or even canceled entirely. The adoption of OLED technology in iPad Pro models could result in significantly thinner devices compared to current LED versions. For instance, the larger 12.9-inch iPad Pro might be even 1 mm thinner. Leaks of CAD drawings for the upcoming 11-inch and 13-inch iPad Pro models provides insights into their expected thinness. These drawings often emerge from Apple's factories in China and other locations, as they are valuable to case makers who use them to design cases for new products. Number 2. OLED Improvements Compared to the current mini-LED technology used in the 12.9-inch iPad Pro, OLED offers several advantages. One of the key benefits is its capability to deliver deeper blacks, faster refresh rates, and enhanced contrast. OLED's ability to individually control the brightness of each pixel ensures that content utilizing high dynamic range lighting, such as TV shows and movies, appears remarkably realistic and true to life. Moreover, with Apple's planned dual-stack technology, OLED displays will be more energy-efficient than mini-LED displays. This efficiency improvement is anticipated to translate into longer battery life for the new iPad Pro models. Additionally, it could potentially enable features like always-on display for the iPad. Despite these benefits, OLED technology does have its downsides, including issues like burn-in and limitations on maximum brightness. However, Apple is actively working on mitigating these drawbacks by implementing advanced technologies. Unfortunately, these enhancements might lead to higher manufacturing costs for the initial iPad Pro models. Now before we move on to the next leak, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest news and tech developments. Number 3. Other New Display Technology Apple will offer users the choice between a matte screen option and the standard glossy finish for the upcoming iPad Pro models. This matte variant, similar to the nano-texture glass found on the Studio display, could feature a textured surface with a haze ranging from minus 4 degrees to plus 29 degrees. Additionally, Apple might incorporate blue light blocking technology into this matte screen to provide better eye protection during prolonged use. Matte finishes on displays are known for their ability to minimize glare and reflections, making them particularly suitable for environments with bright ambient light or outdoor use. In addition to the display options, Apple is also planning to reduce the size of the bezels surrounding the iPad Pro screen. By making the bezels around 10 to 15 percent thinner, Apple aims to enhance the overall visual appeal of the device and maximize the screen-to-body ratio for a more immersive viewing experience. Number 4. N3 Chip Technology The upcoming iPad Pro models are anticipated to be equipped with the M3 chip. This chip was initially introduced in the MacBook Pro and iMac models. In terms of performance, the M3 chip is will offer a substantial boost over the current M2 chip found in the existing iPad Pro models. This includes enhancements in both CPU and GPU capabilities, allowing for faster and more responsive operation, smoother multitasking, and better graphics performance. Number 5. Front-Facing Camera the upcoming iPad Pro will feature a front-facing camera positioned on the side of the device rather than at the top. This adjustment ensures that the camera remains upright when the iPad is in landscape orientation, unlike the current model where it's only upright in portrait mode. This modification is particularly advantageous for users who frequently use stands and keyboards with their iPads, such as the Magic Keyboard. With the camera now located on the side, an iPad Pro, paired with the Magic Keyboard, 
can maintain its landscape orientation during FaceTime calls and other video interactions. Number 6. Pricing There have been numerous rumors indicating that the OLED iPad Pros will come with a higher price tag. Currently, the 11-inch iPad Pro starts at $800, while the 12.9-inch model with a mini-LED display starts at $2,000. According to a February 2024 report from Digitimes, the iPad Pro models could see a price increase of up to $160. However, other rumors suggest even steeper price hikes. For instance, a March 2023 report from the Korean site, the ELEC proposed that OLED displays would significantly raise the price of the iPad Pro models. The ELEC indicated that the 11-inch OLED iPad Pro could start at $1,500 while the 13-inch model could start at $1,800. The anticipated rise in costs is primarily due to the higher expense of OLED panels. Additionally, Apple is implementing new production methods to manufacture OLED panels of the required size, which further adds to the cost. Number 7. Storage Apple is reported to provide storage options of up to 4 terabyte, doubling the current maximum of 2 terabyte. This upgrade is possibly included for the reason that Apple wants to present it as a laptop replacement option. Currently, iPad Pro models are offered with storage capacities of 256GB, 512GB, 1TB or 2TB. So, if you do not have a laptop right now, then you may wait for the new iPad Pro mode. Number 8. Magic Keyboard the upcoming iPad Pro models featuring OLED displays will be accompanied by an updated version of the Magic Keyboard. This refreshed keyboard will boast a larger trackpad, enhancing the iPad Pro's resemblance to a laptop compared to the current model. Again, this move by Apple is intended to give the iPad Pro a laptop-like feel. Number 9. Apple Pencil 3 Reports speculate about the development of the Apple Pencil 3, potentially featuring interchangeable magnetic tips. Should this new iteration materialize, it might coincide with the release of updated iPad Pro models. Number 10. MagSafe Charging The upcoming generation of iPad Pro is anticipated to introduce support for MagSafe charging. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reported in 2021 that Apple was contemplating a glass back for the 2022 iPad Pro with the purpose of enabling MagSafe wireless charging capabilities. However, the 2022 iPad Pro models did not feature wireless charging, a glass back, or significant design alterations. It's plausible that Apple postponed the feature for a later release. Apple might be considering a glass-backed iPad Pro in the coming year, which could support both MagSafe and Kybase charging. Alternatively, the mention of MagSafe charging for the iPad could refer to a magnetic charger similar to those used for Macs, rather than the iPhone-style magnetic charger. However, this remains speculative until further confirmation. So, which feature are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.